Hi everyone, I am Benoit from Phytochemia and Alchemia. Today I'd like to show you how to draw your own terpenes and play a bit with them using the software ChemSketch from ACD Lab. This may be useful if you are learning essential chemistry. This video was made on an ID and even a request of our dear Shannon from BTA for all essential chemistry enthusiasts. So let's go directly. First, you will have to, to download and install the software ChemSketch. So let's go on the website. You can choose the free version if it's for personal um, purpose or ac academic purpose. So just click here. Maybe you will have to register uh, to download and install it. Um, on my side, it's already done. So I just let you do this. And uh, after that, you can open the software. On my side, I, I just have to, to open it. Well, here is ChemSketch. Uh, don't be afraid by all the features and options you see. Um, I will just show you how to draw your molecules and uh, we'll just use uh, a few of them. A short description of what we will use. Here you have the main elements used by life. We'll use a few of them. Here you have um, a nice periodic table of elements. It's really well done with a touch of history, but we won't use it. On the right, you have uh, some very common structure or substructure in um, organic chemistry. And here you have a few options for selection, stereochemistry, uh, cleaning the molecule and uh, show the molecule the way you want. So let's start with the simplest molecule in organic chemistry. I take a carbon here. I just drop it with a left click on the page and I have a methane. As you can see, it's not really a structure, but a formula. If you want uh, a, fo uh, a structure, you can take the hydrogen here and click on the, the methane and drag the hydrogen like this. And also you can clean the structure here and you have this. If you want to show the carbon here, you can do this by selecting the structure, this option, and you can go to Tools, Structure Properties and show all carbons apply and then you have a really developed structure it's uh, it may be useful for the beginning but i don't recommend you to let this option because uh, even if you work with quite small molecules such as monoterpene it will quickly be a mess so let's just go back to the initial initial setting and uh, Yes, I will just erase everything and we are back with methane. Now let's move on and add another carbon. I take one carbon here, I click left, I drag and I drop another carbon. As you can see, we add four hydrogen on the carbon now we have three because one carbon only have a possibility of four bounds one for the carbon carbon bounds and three for hydrogen each side and this molecule is called ethane now let's play with um, the carbon carbon bound you can click on the bound and you see what happens you have a double bound 
and also you can see now you just have two hydrogen on each carbon for the same reason one carbon four bonds uh, this the, the previous molecule ethane was an alkane now it's an alkene I click again and now I have an alkyne this is not very common in essential oil, but you can find some molecule with alkyne uh, functional group. For example, spiroether in Matricaria recutita. I click again and we have our ethane back. Now let's try something with oxygen. You may watch this video during appetizer time, so it could be appropriate. I take one oxygen here and the same way as previously I click, I drag and I drop an oxygen and I'm sure you recognize ethanol which is an ethane with an hydroxy which is um, the alcohol functional group. Now let's extend the carbon chain uh, and before we will just move the molecule here and maybe we will reduce the size a bit uh, so we have already one and two carbons I will add four more one two three four I clean the molecule and I have uh, a chain of six carbon and one hydroxy and this molecule is called hexanol and to be a bit more accurate hexane one all because the hydroxy is linked to the first carbon this compound uh, is used in perfumery for its scent of freshly cutted grass and it's also present in uh, a lot of essential oil now if I click on this bound I transform the alcohol group into a aldehyl group and then I have an hexanyl it's an oxidation now let's go back to the hexanol I will just save the structure here and even add a name Okay, I will just copy the molecule, paste it here, and I will add another double bound in the one, two, three, and this position. And now I have a molecule called the X3N1-all. And this molecule is also commonly found in essential oil. This is a trans isomer, but if I want to draw the cis isomer, I can copy the structure. I take this function and I can move this carbon into uh, cis position and after that I just have to clean the structure as you can see uh, each time you click here you have different organization also I can show you one function now um, this one for example will put the this bound in this configuration it's quite useful so here we have the trans x 3 n one o, and here we have the cis isomer 
Here I can show you how to remove this CH3. Um, it could be a bit more familiar. You can click here, take this uh, function and remove this. It's uh, strictly the same and uh, as you understand uh, in all case one segment is a bound uh, two shared electrons. On each side you have a carbon unless you have another atom which is clearly specified. Now let's play with terpenes. I will erase everything and start um, a new structure. Maybe you recognize it. This is Mersen. Now let's transform the, the Mersen into linalol. I will take an oxygen, I will put it here, and as you can see, there is something wrong. I have one carbon with five band, and it's not really possible, so I have to delete this one and now I have linalol. I can clean it and now let's play a bit with stereochemistry because as you may know um, linalol, linalol has a um, stereogenic center here so I, have, I can have two versions of linalol. I can have this one and I can have this one. Um, maybe you could be able to recognize which one is the, um, the R and which one is the S which one is the minus, which one is the plus uh, linalol. But if you, if you can't, uh, you have a, uh, a function here which give you the answer. So here I have R linalol, which is the, the minus linalol, and here the S linalol. The, the plus linalol. This one is found is coriander, this one is found in lavender. Now we can take um, an acetyl group here and we can transform the, nila, the linalol into linalyl acetate and as previously we can clean everything Now let's play a bit more with the structure we have here. We can let the linalyl acetate here. Um, let's take a benzene ring and uh, also we can take um, an allyl group here. Let's take an oxygen here. And other one here, and just a metal group here. You may recognize here eugenol. Now let's clean a bit the structure. We can remove this, and if you want, you can also write the metoxy in another way you can remove the metal here and you can write it directly here
you may find this um, um, this way to represent the, the original quite uh, often. It's exactly the same. Finally, let's draw a sesquiter pin. I take this, I put a nose here, I connect the ring, one metal here, another here, I clean. Uh, in this molecule, we have five stereogenic centers. We have one here, 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 and here, and here. So if I want to be accurate, I have to draw two, those two hydrogen, and also to use those stereo bond to represent it correctly this like this like this like this like this and we can remove this 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 and this and maybe you recognize beta bourbonin now if you want to save a picture of your molecule you can create a new page here you can switch the page here and you just copy your molecule you paste it on um, on the blank page for a better resolution uh, I recommend you to enlarge the molecule <coughs> And then you can save it the format you want. JPEG, for example. And of course, if you save it as a picture, you won't be able to open the picture with ChemCatch, uh, but you can register your ChemSketch document and, uh, and uh, work again with it. So let's have a look. Here is our beta bourbonin. And finally, if you want to work with very complex molecule, uh, you can also find some templates in internet. For example, in the website ChemSpider, let's take, for example, Paclitaxel, found in um, Taxus Bacata. Uh, you can download this kind of file you can open with Chem ChemSketch, and now you can play um, with the molecule and then save it again um, as um, a picture in the format you want. So thank you and uh, have fun! <laughs>